YouTube, how we doing? PPS here, YouTube play of the day. We got one spot today. Talking about the slate today of the 28th of March. I'm recording this the day before. Um, obviously, want to get this out. Going to have some more bets for opening day stuff. Um, so I want to have this as a separate video, so I'm going to do it the day before. Sweet 16. Um, good games today. We got some some high totals, which we love to see. Um, and, and as well as a lot of wagons are still alive, which which we love to see as well. So um, today's slate, we got Clemson, Arizona, 152 total, 7.5 point spread. San Diego State, UConn, 136 total, 11 point spread. And Alabama, North Carolina, 173 with a 5 point spread. Really good basketball games. Um, and uh, I think I really want to attack that Alabama game. That's where the bet's going to be in this one. Um, but also really excited to see Arizona in action against this Clemson team. Clemson's hot right now. Um, obviously I am a very big fan of Arizona. They are my championship pick. Um, so I'm excited. And, uh, for this one today, I'm going to be rolling with Mark Sears again. Um, this is on DraftKings. I am unaware of his FanDuel line at the moment, just because, uh, we've been on DraftKings for everything else, just because, um, all of our YouTube play of the day, um, and stuff that we just bet on for past the prop. Um, for today's NBA slate is, is all right here as well. So the, the same line is both spots, so nothing too crazy. Um, and you guys saw, I'm going to be rolling one and a half units. Um, looking at today's slate, um, 69.47, 115.88. Obviously have our future bet still in play with Tennessee as well um, at that plus 135 price tag. And I'll be rolling with Mark Sears. I don't know how you don't bet Mark Sears. Um, obviously the VIP group, the guys who are watching these videos who have been in that chat with me, I bet on Mark Sears every game, dude. I've bet on him since the NCAA or the SEC tournament um, and pretty much just bet his points every single game and bet his um, PRA once in a while as well. Um, the betting his points, he's had 20 plus points since the 24th of February. Wow. It's, I just couldn't get that out because I just can't believe it's been that long. That is the last time that he did not score 20 points was – against Florida in a midweek game in overtime. Um, prior to that, I think he's had 20 points every single game since 160. He's missed one. This dude is a monster. He has unlimited, unlimited volume on this team. He is playing 40 minutes. Uh, he played 42 in an overtime game against Arkansas, 38 against Florida, 32 against Charleston, 38 against GCU. This dude is super efficient, um, three-point um, the three point ball for him has definitely started falling a little bit more. He's shooting 47% in the first two games. Dude is getting to the line at will 11 and eight free throw attempts in both of these first two games. It's a guy you want to bet on in March. And, and I don't think North Carolina can slow him down. We just saw, um, Tyson Walker cook these boys for 24 actual points getting to this number. And Mark Sears is going to have the ball in his hands at all times. Um, again, I think he pushes more towards that 38 um number as well we saw him grab 12 rebounds and that could be this game as well with these long rebound attempts obviously got baycott down there um should be seeing a lot of that ryland griffin matchup um pringle down there as well i think they have enough bigs to, to kind of handle them um and i think that if we have i don't understand how we're going to see rj davis and mark sears have the same line in pra because mark sears has the six seven assists upside Sears has a 12 rebound game. Prior to that, he's only had a five, eight, nine rebound game throughout the year. But to have that opportunity to get him at 30 and a half when this boy is scoring 20 points a game every game at minimum, at absolute minimum, he has a 30 point game in there. He's got 26 in there multiple times. NC St North Carolina, I do not trust them defensively. A 173 total is so high. And if we're going to see. Alabama score 84 and a half points, right? Which is the line 84 and a half team total minus 120. If we have that line, I have, I am very hard pressed to think that Mark Sears does not get this number if they're hitting that over. And I really like this game to continue to keep moving. Love to see the assists in there as well. Um, four assists in that uh, last game of the season. Um, and then five and six in this tournament. So if they do decide to get the ball out of their hands, uh, Mark Sears obviously is a willing passer and, and obviously is a point guard. Um, but I really like that his shot is falling. If you look, like I said, um, he's shooting 82% from the free throw line so far. You look down the schedule, 
just shooting threes. The clip is awesome, 46%. Dude, how, how do you get away from this dude? I'm going to roll with Mark Sears to absolutely cook today. Um, over 30 and a half points, rebounds, assists, 1.5 unit play. Um, and, and I really like this spot for our boy here to, to come through. So um, I'm going to be on him. Obviously, still have our Tennessee play open yet. Um, and uh, I'm excited for this one. So hit that like button if you're tailing. Obviously, I'll have opening day picks here coming um, in the next – probably 12 hours or so. So it's a really exciting time. Thank you guys for tuning in. Hit that like button if you could. And uh, let's cash in on our boy, Mark Sears, in this matchup against North Carolina.